On November 15th, citizens across the Lower Mainland will have a chance to vote in the 2014 municipal election. Student voter turnout is at an all-time low, so we asked Langara students what is holding them back from voting. Many students said they didn't understand the process or how to vote. Others were intimidated by the number of candidates, with over 100 candidates on the Vancouver ballot alone. Um, have you done any research on any candidates? Not yet, no. Uh, do you know when the election is? I know when the advanced voting is for my municipality that I work at, but I live in Vancouver now, so I don't know if they're the same, to be honest. Because I don't have time, and I'm scared, I don't know how to do it, yeah. It's actually quite easy to vote. All you need is one piece of ID and a piece of mail with your address on it, or a piece of ID with your address on it. Advanced polls open across the city at eight locations starting November 4th. 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. all the way until November 14th. And then on November 15th, there's dozens of locations all over the city that you can vote. Things for, like, transit for me is a huge problem because, you know, I'm waiting three or four buses in the morning and it's making me late for school now. So for me, like, that's one of the hot button issues is what they're going to do about transit. How do you make your decisions? Talking to the people, usually. I listen to people, what they have to say, people campaigning. I get a general idea of what's going on and then try to make an educated decision. The cheapest apartment I can find downtown is $1,200 a month. That's crazy. Probably half my friends have moved out of the city just yeah. because of that. Uh, they've all gone to Edmonton, Calgary, and like I love Vancouver. I was born here. I don't want to move away. It's another four years until the next municipal election, so if you want your voice to be heard this time, make sure you get out there and vote on November 15th. For Langara Voice, I'm Ash Kelly.